imbalances, there is uh, loss of uh, oligomenuria, aminuria. Oligomenuria means there is decrease in menses or there is absence of menses, there is delayed. Sometimes I have seen the girls. Good evening. Uh, today I will be telling you something about polycystic ovarian disease and uh, as, you, as the name uh, shows that the ovaries have become cystic. It has become multi-cystic. The number of cysts less than 10 mm in the size in the ovaries and becomes a spongy look. It gives a very spongy look and, uh, and the cause is multifactorial usually in that you come the genetic, the environmental, the lifestyle, everything is accountable for polycystic ovaries usually and uh, usually it's very common, becoming very common these days because of the sedentary lifestyle, all the young girls they are sitting on the computers uh, whole day on their laptops or on the uh, mobile phones and everything, the um, heavy work and all has been dished off by these young girls, they don't go into the grounds to play, they don't do heavy work at home and so these are main, main thing is the obesity in the young girls and the uh, foods and the, moreover late night sleep and early uh, and late uh, waking up uh, disrupts the cycle and uh, leads to increase in um, there's a um, what to say, uh, the melatonin secretion is disordered, you know, the timing of the melatonin secretion is uh, disrupted and so there is a, this, these all things result in the polycystic ovarian disease and there are a number of changes in the female, there is hirsutism, there is obesity, there is uh, hormonal imbalances, there is uh, loss of uh, oligomenuria, aminuria, Allergimenorrhea means there is decrease in menses or there is absence of menses, there is delayed. Sometimes I have seen the girls, they are, they are coming with loss of menses since one year, two year, they are not getting menses and uh, this is because the ovaries are not delivering eggs in time and when there is no uh, egg, there is no hormonal situation and so there is a loss of menses. Right, and all these will lead to later infertility, and moreover, uh, these all can cause even depression and number of behavioral changes in the girls. So I would say that 50% of the problem of polycystic uh, ovarian disease is solved just by lifestyle changes, and this is the most common thing which a girl should do. Even a 5% reduction in where 5 to 10 percent will result in resumption of periods and infertility. So I would request the girls and apart from that and if it's of a genetic origin also then you should visit your doctor and get yourself treated. Thank you so much.